Look at that motherfucker right there. Fuck you, Phil. What the fuck? I'm we, tired we're here for a special episode. You're already telling me to fuck off. I'm tired of the pain. This is my fucking YouTube channel, Phil. Not, it's our YouTube channel, first of all. But welcome back to another episode of Audio Critics, oh, a special oh. episode. Why? Because we're talking about horror movies, and if we were in a, are you gonna pull out a knife on me now? <laughs> sure, the fuck am. Anyways, we're, we're gonna. You already <laughs> spoiled the fact that we're, we got watermelons. <laughs> yeah, we we got watermelons for you guys. We went to multiple stores and they're out of pumpkins. So let me just tell you, if you're looking for pumpkins, go early. But what's the other reason this is special here, Phil? But we're going to be talking about, if you're in a horror movie, what horror movie would you like to be in if you knew you would survive? Right. But not only is that the special part, we got a special guest. Ooh, special guest. And she's probably Is this the first special guest? Our first special guest. Wow. So it's even more special than usual. Then it will be usual. Yeah. Because it hasn't been usual yet. Yeah. We haven't had a special guest. But she's called in. She's a fan. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Who is that? Villainous As you know, she's given us some quotes before. Check in the description. We'll put her yeah. name there if you want to check her out. So we're all three going to be discussing which horror movie we, we would uh, want to be in. And, and, what, and, what, and we could survive it, you know? Yeah. Well, of course. I mean, why would you want to be in a horror movie if you knew you were going to die? <laughs> well, some people would want the thrill, I'm sure. Well, that's not me. I don't know what, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know about you. You said, well, that's not me. Yeah, I'm on the surviving end. Exactly. See? Well, not all of everybody can be loving people to their lives, I guess. I don't know. I, I guess some people don't like their lives. Right. So, Phil, you want to start us off? Yeah, let, let, let's start off. I'm going to start cutting this fucking pumpkin. Yeah. Pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin. <laughs> I'm going to call it Pumpkin the entire video. Um, I already fucked up, so this is going to be pretty bad. Okay, I don't feel like you should this thing. <laughs> so, I, I thought about, it, like, when we came up with this idea, I thought about this for a good couple weeks. Uh-huh. And I had people talk to me, and, like, what, what they think, like, I would probably be good in. And I came down to the conclusion that I think I would be, two, actually two of them. One, I don't know if I would survive, but knowing that I saved the, 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 the world would uh, probably be a good thing. And one of them is Kurt Russell's mm-hmm. character from The Thing, mainly because you said you didn't, I'm not saying you didn't like the movie, but you gave it a fucked up rating. Well, fuck you too, Phil, all right? <laughs> this is about telling the truth, Phil. That movie was dog shit. Do you believe this? You don't, you don't like the, the John Carpenter's The Thing. Uh, but, look, I give more respect to John Carpenter now that I've seen the original Halloween. Yes. Which, that ties does not mean the thing is good. Just saying. <laughs> but that ties into who I've actually picked. And I picked Dr. Loomis. And also, before I say this, we're, we're talking about a single movie. Not if they're in multiple movies and all that. This one single movie. And honestly, if I was going with that, I was thinking about, um, um, God, what's the the movie this nerd? Is a good ass <laughs> the movie nerd from um, Scream. I was thinking about him, but then I was like, you know, he does kind of get his ass kicked a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it turned out I decided to pick Doctor Loomis from Halloween. Oh, this motherfucker mm. cut his finger already. Mm. God dang! First, first blood. <laughs> first blood. Shit. These knives are sharp, Phil. Well, it should be. Ah. Uh. I gotta be more careful. But, like I said, Dr. Loomis from the original Halloween. Right. Because nothing fucking happens to him. And he shoots Michael off the balcony. So. You're like basically a hero. Exactly. But without getting my ass kicked for, for, for yeah. doing it. You're a hero for free. Yeah. Like, I knew this guy was evil. And plus, you know, if you're gonna be in any movie, might as well be the original Halloween because, I mean, it's a classic. Why not? Yeah. Now, if this is my life story, I don't know if people's going to be watching the movie, but... <laughs> right, right. <laughs> okay. And? And what? <laughs> and, uh, Phil? Um, are we, when are we singing? I actually have no idea. I guess when we start eating something. I think one of us should sing before she does her review, and one of us sing after her review. <sighs> 
So you're telling me I gotta sing first? You don't have to. I mean, I mean you can sing first if you want. Uh, sure, I'll sing first. I'll do a progress update on my phone. Mm. We have blood, and look, it got eyes and a nose. Wow. That's actually looking pretty good. Yeah, I know. This is my fu uh, fucked up. Oh, I got blood search. on the couch, Phil. <laughs> you got blood on the couch. Yeah, now someone's gonna get herpes. Oh, shit. What's that? I don't see on that side. Okay, I gotta get my phone out. I don't know why I'm standing up. This blood is making me lightheaded. <laughs> okay. I hope I sing the right song. It's Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden. Ooh, that's a good song. In my eyes, indisposed, in disguise as no one knows, hides the face, lies the snake. The sun in my disgrace, boiling heat, summer. To <laughs> stop eating the fucking watermelon while I'm singing. <laughs> Neat the blast, the sky looks dead. Call my name through the cream, and the I'll cream. hear you scream again. That's what it fucking says. Black hole sun, won't you come? And wash away the rain. I'm, not, I'm only going to sing half that. Just to say fuck you. Well, fuck you. You're going to sing it the rest of your head here. Listen for you later. God dang, my finger's starting to hurt. How bad did you cut it? It's actually not that bad, to be honest. Okay. You can't, you can't I'm a little sit. worried for you. It's yeah. Just, <laughs> Amateurs. I mean, it was bleeding a bit, but I think I sealed it off. Yeah, yeah you got a fucking paper cut. I'll survive. Anyway, what's next? So, for my movies, so this was actually really hard. Was yeah, like, dude, it was kind of challenging. Um, so, like, my original thought, I was like, how can I be, like, the least traumatized? Yeah, right? that's a good point, actually. Yeah. That's my goal, surviving and not being traumatized. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, the um, therapist is going to cost you a lot if you get traumatized. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if I want to live after that. <laughs> oh god, this watermelon's not holding up that well. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Sorry. So I chose Child's Play. Oh. Or Lost Boys. So I don't know what that is. I, mean, <laughs> I told you you didn't know Lost Boys. <laughs> That's okay. I'll 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 play along like I have. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, not a lot happens as far as like people dying. So it's just like vampire stuff. So I can hang out with some vampires. So would you be star or would you or would you be um the the uh, <laughs> the one that actually got turned? Here's yeah, mouthpiece. But she's kind of like a good girl because she's kind of like um, the main guy. Like, she don't want to be a vampire pretty much anymore. Oh, uh, yeah. She wanted to be with, um, what's his face? I forget the names. I have a terrible memory. I do too. <laughs> I'm there. I'm with you. <laughs> oh. Um, uh, I don't know. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I ripped off the face. Oh, no. The face. <laughs> Oh shit! Now, here's the hard part of what I want to do with this pumpkin. I need that small knife. Can I use a small? Knife? <laughs> use a small. So, why why you pick child play though? Oh, so I think that I can handle Chucky. Like I'm a small human. Yeah. He's smaller than me. Yeah, that's true. I could probably fight him off. Yeah, but doesn't everybody think that when it comes to Chucky? I yeah, but to be fair, the people that do the Chuck like they're kind of dumb. Let's be honest. That is true. So, would you be Andy or the mom? Uh, maybe the mom. Because all only thing that happens to her is she gets bit, I think. Yeah, in the beginning. Right yeah. The beginning. I mean, you get bit by a doll, that'd be kind of scary, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. What if the doll yeah. did have herpes, though? <laughs> yeah. Because, <laughs> nurse, you got, you got from a homeless guy. You don't know what a homeless guy did with Chucky. I mean, I would imagine Chucky wouldn't let him do it. But... Uh, we don't know. Yeah. I was trying to figure it. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be um, Andy, though. 
Because then you would be traumatized and have. But, okay, well, actually, we did talk about sequels. Here, grinding that fucking water. So, we can't, we can't go with that because you if you remember in Charles Play 2, she. The reason why she had to get rid of. Uh, or she had to give uh, Andy up for adoption was because she went crazy over the doll. Oh, right. Spoilers. Whoa! The lights. <laughs> that actually helped me so much. <laughs> Didn't help me. I'm sorry. Nothing can help you, Phil. That's true. Even, even when I had an outline to this. You did have an outline. That's what you get for having an outline. <laughs> I'm just like, Cheater. cut all the brains out. Cheater. Kind of like a zombie. <laughs> I'm kind of sad I don't have a watermelon to cut open. That's true. You're missing out on a lot. <laughs> Not only are we cutting it, we're eating it. We get a free snack. That's and true. healthy. So is it my turn, or are we still? I don't know. Purple thing. Yeah, Phil, she got a thing as you're stuffing your face with watermelon. <laughs> excuse me. You're excused. You gotta open your phone. God dang it, Phil! You make me do all the work here. Oh, Wait, is that the right time? No, fuck! It's leaking. <laughs> we got a leaker. Oh God, Phil. Leakers, We're such, <laughs> such a mess. We're such a yes. mess. One cup, so I, I cut the watermelon so bad that it's leaking on me. See, one of us took it for the watermelon, and the other one just killed the watermelon. Yeah, the water, that watermelon saw what I did to this one, and was like, fuck you, I'm getting payback. Yeah. My no. brother! Well, what really happened is it could read into the future, and that's how it knew to get the payback. True. I gotta put a jacket down. Okay, so the song I'm doing is actually for some friends I know who is kind of not saying in a dark place, but they're hand wash on you. You gotta dry it. Yeah, but uh, they're going through some shit, oh, and so what a good guy, Phil. This song is kind of towards them. They may know who I'm talking about. They may not. I don't know. But the song is by Papa Roach. Come around. Ooh. Remember, I'm tone deaf, so don't judge me too bad. I'm not Jacoby. Phil, I judge you <coughs> every time you sing. That is true. <laughs> so you just gotta get used to it. <clears throat> in between a work rock and a hard place, trying to find your way through the dark days, but you don't know how. You flip the world upside down, and right now you don't want to show it, cause you don't think anyone notice until you tell someone you feel like you're the only one. And everybody says they're fine, but I know we're not all right. Everybody says they're fine, but I know we're not all right. I know we're not all right. It's always dark as just before the light. I know your silence is a deadly sound. It's never easy when you're breaking down. But I'll be there when you come around. When you come around. Yeah. So I just want to apologize to our guests for having to listen to that. <laughs> hey, you might. She it might be special to her because she's seen our videos. Now she gets to see it like live. Yeah, we, this is like a special treat for me too. Yeah. See. Well, we appreciate it. You know. Well, thank you. Yeah. Makes us feel good. All right. So now I'm gonna talk about mine. <laughs> yeah. So now here's a question to our guests before we continue. Are you singing too? No. <laughs> I, I asked her yesterday, and I was like, I don't know, you might have wanted to sing and sing Bye 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 or something. Bye Bye Bye! It's <laughs> like, you paid me well. Yeah. That's funny. Okay. Oh, definitely an insane girl. So, the, <laughs> this, now we go to the movie I Think I Would Survive. I am personally saying the new Jigsaw movie. Right? He doesn't yeah. have good taste. No, I didn't, okay, I didn't say it was the best movie. We said a movie we'd want to be in That's and true. we could survive. Now, yes, it'd be kind of fucked up, especially if you're, like, one of the last people to have your, like, test happen and you had to see, like, had to go through all of it. That'd be kind of shitty. But I feel like if you're, like, one of the first people, when you get to where he's testing you and stuff and you notice, like, hey, these people are telling the truth, you can get out of it. Just tell the truth. I mean, that's all you got to do, right? Yeah, but I heard that's hard for you to do. To tell the truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought about the song movies too, but mm -hmm. I feel like that would be traumatizing. 
Yeah, but but then again, I didn't really think about the traumatizing thing. It was too late. When I like cutting it. off your own foot. Mm-hmm. Like cutting other people. But that's why. But that's what I said. Like, are you are you are you going to be the character who becomes Jigsaw at the end? Sure. Because technically he was tested, but he that is that is you though. You sleep longer than you should, and you miss out, and that's what happened with him. I mean, yeah. And Jigsaw felt bad and let him survive and then train him how to beat him. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm, like, kind of scraping the inside just so I can eat the watermelon. <laughs> I'm eating the... I'm eating the fucking back. <laughs> Phil, you have gotten into it. You just slung watermelon all in the <laughs> right, now it's going to start leaking on me because I'm going to flip my watermelon over. <laughs> oh, God, it is leaking. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I got to do it. It's too late. It's already happened. Do you guys have, like, plates down? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't prepare, really. Yeah. We we got so... I wouldn't say pissed off. Our preparation was literally just going to three stores to look for pumpkins and then grabbing watermelons. <laughs> yeah, because that, every place was like, well, there is any. There's going to be up front. And we went up front, nothing. Went to the next one. No, and then they were like, you should check out the other store. And we just got the, just left from there. So I'm like, oh, they're, they're sold out too. Then we went to the other store. And then I was we asked, and they are like, oh, no, we're already sold out. I'm like, the day before Halloween, you're already sold out? I mean... I mean, you guess why, but... I mean, yeah, yeah, but... By where we live, it just it makes no sense. Yeah. So... Do you not have, like, a lot of stores around you? No, we do. It's just... It's kind of like... you would, This is the last place you would expect to, for people to be buying pumpkins everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's because it's more Especially like... Especially on our side of the town. Because it's more, like, busy and, like, streets and stuff. So there's, like, no one decorating pumpkins. Well, not as many houses. Yeah. Oh, um, gotcha. So, like, more city... Yeah. Same. But where I live, it's like a town, so there is pumpkins out there, but that's like nowhere near here. You should have just gone and like grabbed What are you, <laughs> Phil? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> just slung your juices all over me, Phil. Wait. <laughs> You're acting crazy. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like fucking like cr- oh shit. I'm like, you're pu- Phil! <laughs> God dang it. Honestly, my pumpkin's gonna take. My pumpkin. My watermelon's gonna take longer than I wanted it to. So, Phil, just let me know when to stop and I'll stop. We try to show people what, what yours is gonna look like. So, do I now, now we talk about do I need to the people's them? choices. And we'll discuss do you think the person had a good. Choice. A good point. Yeah. yeah. To, to want to be in a that good movie. method to their madness. Yeah. So if you want to start off, uh, um, I definitely wouldn't want to be in the song movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks a lot. Go on. <laughs> you can have all of the song movies. Hey, I don't know about all of them. I just talk about the the latest one. The latest. One. I haven't seen the latest one. I've seen like I think up to four or five. He pretty much lets people go. Yeah, no, sort of. <laughs> sort of. And if you tell the truth and all that, like you said. But, um... Oh, no, I broke it! <laughs> but it's on Hulu. At least last I saw. I don't know if you have Hulu. I own it. I do have Hulu. I'll check. But... And that's it. I mean, if you saw it up to part four, you already know that he's dead and all that, so... that's yeah. all. That's all you really have to know. Yeah, that's all you have to know, really, is that he's... Everything goes like it doesn't bring up any of the other characters or nothing. Yeah. And I think Halloween. Halloween's a good classic. Least traumatized. That's, that's my category. Least yeah. Because <laughs> once you told me about least traumatized, because I actually talked to... Uh, well, Bill lucky Robert. you, Phil. Hey, you can do the same thing. She follows. Look, I'm too lazy. You know this, Phil. That is true, but... I'm the business part part of the side. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds legit to me. Huh? Jeez. <laughs> Phil, I'm trying, man. <laughs> so, Lost Boys, I feel, like, I wouldn't mind it, but I, I would have to be, I would say, I, w- I would want to be, um, Corey Haynes' character. 
Not yeah. wanting to turn to a vampire, but the but the brother yeah. of it. Yeah, and, I know cause what not, you're talking about. Because nothing happens to him. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I mean, he gets scared and all that, but it's not like there's there's a moment where he almost gets bit or something like that. Like literally, <laughs> like even the frog brothers have a, have a harder time when when that one guy that had to throw him in the garlic tub. Garlic yeah. tub. Yeah. Oh, the vampires. This is the yeah. Movie? Cause it's old classic yeah. style. Is this the movie yeah, she picked? They run and kill the vampires. Yeah. Okay. Now, well, vampires are easy. Now, Child's Play. I I not saying I don't disagree because I do think. That I could survive it, but this if somebody could fit it in tight spaces and all that, and like all I, like unless I have full eye contact of where they're at, and he doesn't run around and I lose them and shit. Yeah, that's true. That's the only thing I would be worried about. Or if he booby trapped something like in Brighter Chucky, where he booby trapped that um, all the nails and the guy like he. Uh, yeah, or true. if it's like the new ch- the, uh, the oh new yeah I, w- I, w- I wouldn't want to do the new one where it's technology based yeah. which I had to fuck somebody up yeah because he'll just like he go to your he's I mean he went to that girl's car and fucking made a wreck and all that yeah that's true <laughs> so I mean I'm really into this watermelon yeah. maybe I'll be his apprentice then yeah maybe Tiffany well she's not not the first one I was like yeah. We'll be a we'll be a new character, new apprentice. <laughs> Let's see. What if Andy actually did decide to team up with uh, Chucky? Chucky. Okay. That'd be crazy. <laughs> I could do that. I could do. Now, as far as like you said, I wouldn't want to be in a small movie. At least the one that he picked. Like I could yeah. be. Um, like was like okay, uh, I'm, I'm munching. Mm-hmm. And, uh, if I if I was in let's see, what's Saul with? I made a star. Oh, if I was in Saul too. Oh, that's pretty cool. He has more talent than me. <laughs> um, this is my entrance yeah. to the. <laughs> uh, if if I was in like Saul two and I was the son of the detective, then I probably wouldn't have no problem because. He pretty much watched. He sent Amanda in there just to make sure that he wouldn't get killed or nothing like that. So I have somebody watching my back. Yeah, definitely. But as far as like Jigsaw, because technically the only one that survived is the one who became Jigsaw at the end. Right. What's wrong with that? Well, technically you become a bad guy. Yeah, but see, but this is my movie. True. <laughs> what are you doing to this watermelon, Joe? All right, so I guess it's my turn, huh? Yeah. Well, Lost Boys, man, is that in one of the movies? Who's yeah. It? Okay. Yeah. So, Lost Boys, I feel like, I, I mean, I'd probably be pretty good at surviving the movie. I feel like it's not too traumatizing, you know, from what I'm hearing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, you get, you're in the '80s, you get to see this most uh, this old up guy playing a saxophone. I mean, hey, that sounds like the life to live. To <laughs> um, and then, let's see. Chucky? Child's Play, yeah. Child's Play. Which one, though? You said the first one. The yeah. first one? Okay. So, um, honestly, I feel like I could survive Chucky as long as you have the attitude of, like, just get out of Chucky's way. Like, don't fuck with them. So, but at the same time, like, you just kind of have to be at the right place at the right time. Like, if you're at the wrong place at the wrong time, you're kind of fucked, right? I'm, I'm trying to think of which character would it be... Because, because can't. I would be, I would be the guy that sold Chucky to the girl. You, you would be the homeless guy. Yeah, I'd be the homeless guy. That's how I'd survive. That's I'd just be like, look, this doll, it's something weird about it, and get rid of the shit. That's, I mean, that's what you gotta do. The funny thing is, we're talking about if I ever was in a horror movie, I would be that guy who like walks in and sees some bullshit going on. I'm like, nah, I'm good, and I just walk out. I mean. Yeah. Sometimes it's what you gotta do. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, look, I know for a fact I'm gonna survive if I leave. <laughs> oh, you hope. I mean, if you go and you like, ready and not me on the street, you might be fucked. Why is that? Because if your parents are one of the people that burned him alive, he's gonna be coming after you. Well, see, that's, that's why I was saying you gotta be at the right place at the right time. Yeah, but how are you not gonna go to sleep? I mean... Yeah. I mean, there are ways, but they're probably pretty illegal. 
Well, that, but then after a while, there's... there's Your body does shit. Okay, you, you, you just watched the remake, right? Uh-huh. You know when he's talking about micro naps and all that? That even though you keep yourself up, your body uh, makes you go through micro naps without you knowing. What about daydreaming? That counts too. Uh, he'll catch you no matter if you're daydreaming or what. Yeah. That's wild. So that's why I wouldn't... I wouldn't pick a Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Besides, well... That's probably if, why if I going off the, fir- off the first movie, I wouldn't mind being the cop and thinking that, oh, you're crazy, you know, telling my daughter she's crazy or something. Right. But but he dies in the third one, so I don't know if you know if I was doing like stuff like that. I'm so ah god damn it! <laughs> ah, you got my hair. Ah. I guess you should should have worn a But then it's time to reveal our pumpkins. Oh shit! Hey, that empty my. Oh, I got I got a face, so I didn't run pretty quickly. So. Which is funny because I have both face shirt on. So, that's funny. So, on the back, there's a star, a pentagram, if you would, upside down. It was supposed to be, but it accidentally fell out. I'll show the audience. Boom. And on the front, I'm going to show the audience first, but look at that. Yeah, and he got a scar and shit. Look at that. Uh, scar? Scar. Okay, scar. Lion King. Boom. Uh, check you out. Yeah, scar and everything. That was like a, the, the, the little pumpkin thing that like you would put, get your candy in. It looks like kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. This is my fucked up. It was kind of gross, to be honest. I'm not <laughs> sure one. My hands all like sticky. I fucking hate what I did. So you know what that means? <laughs> what does it mean, Bill? Well, we got. Oh God! <laughs> He's stuck. <laughs> oh, oh God! It's puking. everything. <laughs> Get ready, everybody. This is a special one. This for you guys. Oh, God. <laughs> don't hit. <laughs> don't hit. <laughs> ah! Oh, shit. <laughs> Can I do it? My I drop. love that I can only see the shadow on the back wall. <laughs> Give me that hammer. You don't hear nothing. <laughs> okay. Phil. My pumpkin had to witness that. <laughs> I'll fucking hammer your pumpkin too. Now it has more than just a physical scar. <laughs> He's traumatized. <laughs> I'm gonna put him in. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. <laughs> well, it, it's it's over. <laughs> well, I think. Have fun cleaning that up. Uh, yeah, I was gonna get Tyler to do that. You gonna keep your oh, keep shit. your watermelon? Yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> anyway, that'll do it for another video. Thank you for staying and watching. Stay classy. Do you want to say something? Bye, everyone. Have a good.